is back. The Vermont senator and progressive firebrand filed his papers and is now officially on the first in the nation primary ballot and looking to repeat the big win he earned here in 2016. And New Hampshire went first in giving us the victory. 21 other states followed. Speaking with reporters at the Secretary of State's office, Sanders says the message and the issues that made him so unexpectedly competitive in the last cycle, like Medicare for all and tuition-free college, haven't changed. Sometimes the media says, oh, Bernie is so repetitious. You say the same thing. <laughs> well, that's my life. In an interview that will air Sunday on Close Up, we asked Sanders who will see costs go up under his health care plan. For the overwhelming majority of the American people, they will be saving substantial sums of money on their health care costs as compared to the current system. Can you give us a ballpark, though? On You might get a lot more support if you can draw that line. Say household family income, $110,000. When do the costs go up as opposed to go well, down? Well, not, not for a family of 110000 It's a progressive. You know, we have outlined various options. And as I've said, there is no plan ever brought forth by a presidential candidate that is going to be adopted uh, totally by the Congress. There'll be a lot of debates. But at the end of the day, for the very, very rich, yes, they're going to pay a lot more in taxes. Sanders appears to have made it past a September shakeup of his local campaign and a heart attack earlier this month. But some previous supporters are still in wait and see mode. I'm a little, a little unsure, but I, I think that I'm very pleased to see that he's hanging in and doing such a great job. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.